what is up good people welcome back to my channel i am here with y'all today in this beautiful sunlight or sunlit area type situation it is a beautiful day outside and i'm just i want to soak all of this greatness up so i'm sitting here literally sitting <laughs> i'm in my room on the floor as y'all can see the vanity is behind me Kayla, why are you on the floor just sit at the vanity no i just feel i just want it to be right in center like front and center of the window because the sunlight is just coming in so nicely so i do have some new products that i um, picked up like literally within the past month or so that i wanted to do this nice natural beat what i'm inspired today though to do is try out a look that i'm considering for my wedding this coming april i will be doing my own makeup for my wedding i'm so excited about that because makeup y'all it's therapeutic for me so i have no issue with doing that some people may say don't you want to be pampered hands off you know in that way i don't mind it because it's not a burden to me and i don't think that it will be a big deal on the face today i am rocking none other than the l'oreal true match this is their super blendable foundation when i saw the campaign for this foundation i was super ecstatic two of my favorite black babes was in the campaign none other than miss her and miss nyma tank here on the tube love to see that they were a part of that it was just such a joy and inspiration and i was just all for it so the shade that i was able to pick up was warm deep and this is w9.5 here and i love that it came with pump it's super blendable as it says in the name y'all and it's very lightweight some of the other new products that i do have here that i'm going to be using to create this look are a couple of the Revolution Cream. I think this is like some of their like newer duo bronzers and highlight blush type of situations. I also have here with me one of the e.l.f. Bite Size um, eyeshadow palettes, which I'm actually gonna be using this palette. Um, this palette was an inspiration for me to use for this look because I will actually be teaching a makeup class this coming summer and so i actually pulled for this eyeshadow palette for this look because i saw it the other day and wanted to give it a try for myself for my under eye highlight i'm going in with none other than my favorite elf camo concealer this is in the shade deep chestnut for the contour so i picked up their cream contour duo palette and this is in dark i don't know if y'all can tell that on the package in there so i'm just literally going to dip into the palette using my brush just picking up enough and then i'm going to do my best to just go ahead and just buff this into the skin all right so i'm kind of looking away into my little mirror that I have here with me okay I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out my under eye concealer and other places that I'll place the concealer So the next thing I do want to do is apply a cream blush. Now, out of the other palette that I do have by the Revolution line or Duo line is their Duo Blush and Highlighter. And I got this in Daydream. So Daydream has like this kind of, this is, this is like a, like a orangey type of like reddish orange kind of vibe, kind of coral type of color. So I'm actually going to be using this as of course my blush today, but underneath it, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Putty Blush, and this is in the shade Molly, I believe. Dip into the product with my finger, because you know, sometimes fingers work just as well as brushes and tools. And I'm just gonna pop this right, kind of like in the middle of where that under eye highlight and contour shade is. And I'm just gonna tap into that very lightly this is a very subtle type of color 
and I just think it complements brown skin just so nicely so very sun-kissed you know so just gonna do the same thing on this side and y'all I just love this blush because it's just like it it's effortless like it just looks so natural and i just i really like how it looks on the skin so i actually just realized the um, powder that i'm going to be setting all over the face with is a newer product that i'm using so i wanted to pop that one on camera as well it's dusty right now y'all i know just don't judge me one of the elf camo concealer foundation powders powder foundation i'm sorry and i have the shade um, 620W in Rich. So it's Rich 620W, as it says on the name right there. Um, and I am, since this is a pressed powder, I'm gonna take my Sonia Kashuk powder brush, as I just think that this is like the right shape for this type of product. And I'm just gonna buff this all over the skin, including the eyes, just to set everything in place look how that looks just i thought it was like how i was looking at it but the shape is really like wavy and that's really really cool i like that so first starting with the blush i'm just gonna tap into it lightly and this is just gonna set that or that cream blush that i put down hmm Mm -hmm. Only did two times, y'all. Very, very lightly. As y'all know, too much blush will have you looking crazy. So, oh, that is beautiful. A lighter shade, and I'm going to top that off. Want to, I don't know if I lightly dust that over where I apply that blush. To the eyeshadow, I'm super excited of the powder. It's very smooth. I want to dip into that like chocolate shade and see what it's talking about. Oh, that's, that's light. That's pigmented. That's very pigmented. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Using this fluffy blender brush, also by e.l.f. E.l.f. was getting a lot of love. I have a lot of e.l.f. products in my stash and have been continuously adding to lately, as y'all probably can tell. So, yeah, there's a reason why. And I'm going to dip into that first, hoping that it's hoping that it's deep enough to show up on my skin. But I do and would like to use this as my... Um, transition shade so I'm going to pop this into my crease and this will serve as again my transition shade I'm going to also take that deeper shade using this very same brush I'm going to dip into it and just start to build that color up starting on the outer corner of my eye I'm gonna go in using the lightest shade out of the palette and I'm gonna just pop that right into and I'm just gonna pop that right onto the lid area to set all over but that will also serve as my eyelid shade fam bam i'm back um to finish off the eyes mainly my waterline I actually found the other day this liquid eyeliner that is actually in the shade eggplant um let me swatch it real quick. let's swatch it real quick so y'all can see okay how deep it is once again this is try on makeup so we're gonna see how it does so i'm gonna go ahead 
and apply the liner to my waterline. So what I will do is go into this um, Violet's palette by Juvia's Place. There are a lot of nice deep purple shades in here. What I'm actually going to do is pull for a nice um, shimmer shade that's purple. And I'm thinking more so this one because it kind of matches that shade. And I'm going to take that on like the tip of this brush and just pop that right onto where I applied that eyeliner. I have two lippies that I told my lovely bride squad that I'm considering um, for the wedding. They're both by TLB, the lip bar. These are their liquid matte lipsticks, two of their liquid matte lipsticks. And the ones that I have here are Prima Donna, which is here the one on um, the right. <laughs> I was trying to be like, okay, which side is it for me? And then on the left is Drama Queen. Drama Queen kind of sort of matches the vibe that we have going for this eye look today. So I'm going to swatch it real quick so y'all can see Drama Queen. So that's Drama Queen. Okay. Okay. And then we have Prima Donna. Look at that. So I'm first lining my lips using the color Drama Queen. In the middle and then I'm just going to top it off with Prima Donna. the people so I came outside on the balcony so I can show y'all even more because like I said the sun was already trying to vanish so I wanted you all to see the final look of how everything came out as I added the purple tell me what y'all think of the look I'm really feeling it I love the vibe um this is definitely one of the first trying ons for me for the makeup definitely love the idea of going with the natural glam I think I natural glam just does something you know it just does something for me but you know just trying to pair you know my makeup to the wedding theme with the purple i think adding you know small touches like you know some color in the, the waterline and then that lip i don't know we gotta have a good lip i definitely think would be great additions for my makeup for the wedding so I'm so grateful that I was able to come out here, y'all, and soak up some sunshine and get this look in. I definitely like how it turned out. Once again, this is one of the first trying ons for me when it comes to the makeup. But let me know what you all think. I hope that you all enjoyed this makeup look, this entire video. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Lord willing, <laughs> I'll see y'all then. Love you, love us. Bye.